All right, so sorry for the lack of videos this past week. My mental health was actually not doing so well. And uh, yeah, I'm over it right now, and I wanna get back into the reviews. So today we're gonna be reviewing that X-Rex from the previous video that I did from Rebore. So let's not waste any more time. New intro. <laughs> Alright, thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to hit up my channel for more action figure videos. If you subscribe, hit the little bell icon, otherwise YouTube won't let you know I uploaded Jack. Also, in case you're interested in checking out the unboxing for this particular figure, hit that info tab on the top right of your screen. Okay, so Rebor's X-Rex, Broodlord, was a nice little surprise because I was always interested in a potential Jurassic Park Aliens crossover. I mean, come on, who didn't want to see what a Xenomorph T-Rex could potentially look like? Rebor has us covered here, and I think in terms of the body sculpt of this bad girl, they did a wonderful job. Starting from the head, I love the split crown design here. It looks intimidating as hell, especially when you look at those vicious looking amber teeth. Oh, mm, the inner mouth also looks pretty good once you get that sucker in there. Also take note, the teeth, crown, claws are all done with translucent material that looks great under a light source. The rest of the body is done up real nicely as well. You can see all the biomechanical details that mix in with a more organic fleshy look throughout the figure, which I think was an excellent choice. The X-Rex here looks muscular and thick in all the right places, such as his abdominal area, legs, and the tail, which is the real standout here. Tail has that spinal ridge bony effect going on, and it starts off small and grows bigger towards the lower half, till it tapers off again to a scythe-like tip. And just imagine the X-Rex taking down a Brachiosaurus with that tail as a weapon. Mm, delicious. One complaint I have with this X-Rex, however, is the paint. Now, it's not terrible, don't get me wrong, it's applied just fine here, and it has a really nice metallic purple sheen throughout the entire figure, and uh, most areas such as the end of the tubing and the tail ridges gradient. So in terms of accessories, all you really get with the X-Rex is its inner mouth, which is optional, you could have it put, you know, put in the inner mouth, so in terms of accessories, all you get with the X-Rex is its inner mouth. So it's nicely detailed, everything looks great here. Once again, done with that translucent material that you can see under the light. It's optional as I like to display it without it, but you know, it's cool to have it actually in there as well. The tail is on a bending wire, and Rebor usually does this with all their dinosaur figures, so you get some movement there, and maybe some jaw articulation. That's a pretty strong bendy wire in there, but I wouldn't want to mess with it too much, especially given the girth of that tail. <laughs> that word. Anyways, yeah, that's all you get in terms of articulation. So in terms of accessories, all you get with the X-Rex is its inner mouth. So it's nicely detailed, everything looks great here. Once again, done with that translucent material that you can see under the light. It's optional as I'd like to display it without it, but you know, it's cool to have it actually in there as well. So in terms of size comparisons, how we're gonna do this, all right, look. Let's keep things simple here as we always like to do. Uh, here's the X-Rex with some of those NECA Xenomorph eggs. And here it is with the Shaman Predator. As you can see, they don't scale well at all. Rebor is in a size of its own. And the X-Rex here with the Figma Samus Aran from Metroid Prime 3. The Figma, of course. Here we have the X-Rex with the SH Figure Arts Ultraman Orb Origin the First. And you know what? I think the SH Figure Arts line actually scales pretty well with this thing. Uh, yeah, it's a bit much, but hey, maybe it could be a Final Boss Kaiju for a fan fiction or something. And here is the X-Rex with some of those colorful Lenard aliens from the sets that I reviewed not too long ago on this channel. I actually like how they scale with this girl. 
All right, so I must say, for being a first foray into the Reborn line, I really do enjoy what they did here with the x racks I mean, it's making my mouth water as I speak about it. It not only satisfies a personal wet dream of mine between two of my favorite sci-fi fandoms, but it also looks damn good doing it. Now, I would like to have the x racks be a bit more poppin' in that paint job department, sure, but that's what I get for getting hyped over promotional shots, so let that be a lesson to you guys. Is this bad girl worth the $45 I paid? In my honest opinion, she definitely was. I have no buyer's remorse with this one, and I look forward to finding the other x rexes they have planned in the near future. So that's a wrap for this review. I hope you found it helpful if you were on the fence of picking this one up. And if you like what you saw and would like to support the channel and what I do, hit the like button, leave a comment below, and share the video with some of your like-minded members of the hive. Collect everything, connect everything, and if you can't, then do what you can. And card time with other videos you might be interested in. So definitely check those out when you get the chance. Man, I can't believe it took a company this long to make this a reality. Can we get a movie or a video game with this thing already? She.